Hello, uh, today I will give you our personal report of the GSBS6145. This is our teammate. And uh, the second thing is our outline. You can see uh, there, are at, uh, there are nine parts of this. And the first thing I'm glad to introduce, uh, to give our introduce. The first thing I want to talk about in our report is uh, is that it's describing the exchange rate uh, regime that is currently being applied by the Swiss land. And also the, our report is focusing on the vari uh, variation in the exchange rate during the period of the analysis. And also our report is uh, focusing on the macro, uh, on the economic variables that, we, that is may impact on the exchange rate. And also, uh, using the uh, regression regression models, we know that uh, we determine that how the economic variables used in the analysis affect the exchange rate and the abilities of the regression models to the estimated future exchange rates. And lastly, we will talk about the limitation of the analysis. And uh, we will introduction. Uh, uh, we will introduce the exchange rate regime of the Swiss land. The first things I want I want to say on our report, uh, the, the Swiss land, the Swiss land exchange rate is uh, is determined by the demand and the supply <coughs> of the currency, and also it is through the country's central bank, central bank to push to purchase all the all sales the home currency and also there are two there are two exchange rate regimes the first is the free float uh, exchange rate regime and the fixed exchange regime and uh, the free float exchange rate regimes as we know uh, the free float exchange rate is uh, determined by the supply and the demand of the selling or pushing the Pushing the currency on the foreign uh, uh, on the foreign uh, uh, exchange market, and also it's known as the ma uh, manager floating regime. And uh, the second is a uh, fixed uh, exchange rate regimes, and uh, under this under this exchange systems, uh, the government sets a target uh, exchange rate and uh, to sell in to sell in or pushing the Currencies on the foreign market, and also uh, the most uh, to the fixed exchange rate is the relative is the relative to the single currency, and it evolves to the and it evolves to uh, it evolves setting the constant price, uh, constant price of the uh, of the foreign currency. And the last, uh, we will talk about the limitation. On our uh, on our report, we uh, use the regression to analyze the the impact the economic variables may uh, it may impact on the uh, uh, it may impact on the our exchange systems. And uh, we notice that the regression analysis did not take into the account otherwise. And also, the regression uh, re regression models is highly relied on the samples of the economic variables uh, and it may lead to the new equations. And last we talk about the conclusions. The first things we know that from the from our report we notice that uh, the Swiss land applies the floating exchange rate regimes and also on the 2011 we notice that there is a negatively deviation which caused the SMB uh, drop the exchange rate captain and also the report focus on the economic variables like the consumer price for example uh, such as such as uh, GDP export import and uh, so on and last we notice that the regression models uh, may affect by the extent 
of the outlines or extreme the exchange in the models. This is our reference. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Gong Yue and uh, I will introduce the exchange rate system uh, applied in Switzerland. Since the collapse of the Bradenwood system collapsed, Switzerland had been applying in the flowing exchange ratio exchange rate system. This is an exchange rate, rate system in which the exchange rate is determined by the factor of demand and supply, affecting the home currents. This exchange rate system is a current current rise by limited government involvement in the exchange rate marketing and the volatility of exchange rate due to constant in interaction between dem demand and supply factors. Under the floating exchange rate system, the currents either appreciate or depreciate based on its demand and supply as opposed to revaluation and devaluation by the government as used as used in the fixed exchange rate regimes. The free reflation exchange rate system also allows the government to enter whenever the exchange is extreme appreciation or depression. For example, in September 2011, the Switzerland National Bank introduced the temporary exchange rate flow and uh, coupled the exchange rate at 1.2 Swiss francs to the euro, a move that was later abandoned in January 2015. This occurred when the CHF was substantially, uh, substan substantially appreciation and uh, it uh, required the involvement of the central bank in buying the currents at the specified in order to maintain the target rate. And now we can say that a, a monthly rate of the change of the exchange rate and the standard deviation for the CHF. Mm. From this table we can say the mean monthly rate uh, for period has been estimated to be minus 0.01%, uh, where the extended duration had been estimated uh, to be 2.81%. Uh, and now we can see the history graph of the monthly rate of change of the exchange rate of the CHIF. Uh, the graph above shows the fluctuation of the CHF distribute over the 10 years of analysis. The bar graph above the horizons axis shows the positive fluctuations, while the bar graph below the horizons axis shows the decline the exchange rate. A normally distributed date is a type of date in which the individual component tend to cluster around the mean and it is usually represented by a damp sharp curve. Some of the uh, correct uh, characterize, characterize of normally distribution include the, the mean, median and the model are all equal and 99.7% uh, of data lie within Switzerland and the duration of the mean. And the uh, skewedness of the data is zero. From the uh, decreptive statistics of the return for the period between January 2009 to December 2018, it is uh, in, in indeed that the exchange rate is not normally distributed. The me median and the model are no equally. In addition, data has a negative skewedness, which shows that exchange is uh, skewed to the left. 
from this table, we also can see the analysis shows that the exchange rate in Switzerland is negative skewed. The largest monthly decrease is can be seen in period uh, uh, quarter star from January 1st, 15, uh, 2015. Analysis of the economic fact shows that the decrease was caused by the decision to the SMB to discontinue the exchange rate citing. In 2011, the SMB introduced the exchange rate capping following extensive appreciation of CHF against major currencies such as the euro and the US dollar. The global finance crisis led to increase demand demand for the CHF, which was constant a safe currency resulting into appreciation of the CHF to euro from 1.67 to 1.02 which uh, is cited then nearly by SMB to cap the exchange rate at 1.2. However, when the financial crisis was easing in both the Euro zone and uh, the US, and the value of those currencies were declined. This led to pressures on maintaining the target rate as it would have led into a abnormal increase in the reserves. The fact that means the fact that means that uh, SMB risked the losing uh, con control reserve balance in the long term. The decision was taken without a prior notice, which led to a sudden price instability. Uh, inst uh, instability. Immediately, the cap was dropped. The CHF appreciated immediately uh, reached as uh, as low as 0 0.97 CHF to euro. As the investor we are use, using the information to adjust their correct and future currency needs. Since uh, occurrence of the largest negative deviation was caused by a policy uh, intervention by the country's central bank. That is the likelihood of the reoccurrences as the central bank still has a role to play on the exchange rate equilibrium in case of extreme events. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Diawei. Uh, next, I will continue to this topic. Uh, we analyze the six uh, uh, economic variables uh, that have an uh, impact on uh, exchange rates. Uh, there are inflation, export, exports, uh, reserves, reserve assets, interest rate, and uh, GDP. Um, one of the determining factors of the exchange rate is the inflation uh, rate of a country uh, relative to other countries. Generally, as a uh, national inflation uh, rate uh, becomes relatively high. Its currency will uh, decline relative to currencies of uh, countries uh, with low, lower uh, inflation um, rate. Also, uh, countries with uh, strong uh, economic growth will uh, uh, attract uh, foreign investment, uh, which will lead to an increase in demand for the uh, national currency. Uh, therefore, real GDP uh, can be used as an indirect of economic, economic growth well, uh, to uh, assess its uh, relationship with uh, exchange rates. Uh, export and uh, import are the two uh, main measures for trade inflows and outflows of foreign uh, currency between countries. With the uh, depreciation of the exchange rate, um, the loss of value of uh, traders uh, in the national uh, currency make uh, imports more expensive, uh, leading to a decline in imports. Mm. For the interest rate, uh, the rise in the interest rate of the national currency uh, rel rel uh, to relative to other countries will uh, increase uh, the value of the national currency because it uh, attract uh, foreign 
uh, invest, investment and uh, the decline in relative interest rate will uh, cause the investor uh, to transfer resources to countries with higher interest rates, making the country's uh, currency lose value. The, ofi the official uh, reserve re represent uh, our uh, financial uh, instrument used by the central bank to uh, intervene in the foreign exchange market uh, is particularly um, relevant to relevant in Switzerland, uh, where the capping require requires the government to use its uh, uh, res reserve to maintain the target exchange rate. Next. Uh, we will use the regression analysis to build a focused uh, model uh, to, and uh, the regression will be used, uh, used on um, the a linear, uh, a linear equation. Uh, then we, we make a uh, absence. absence. Uh, it is uh, assumed that the exchange rate uh, in Switzerland have an inverse in, in relationship with the amount of import and the real GDP. It shows that uh, as the import and uh, the real GDP increase, the exchange rate will decline. The exchange rate also has a, a direct relationship with the inflation, uh, inflation rate uh, export and uh, the reserve assets. This means, that we'll, this means that with the increase in inflation and the export and the reserve assets, the exchange rate of the uh, Swiss franc will also rise, thus reducing this value. As a result of our study, the, car, uh, the multiple R is uh, uh, 0 0.8038. This uh, is showed that there is a strong positive correlation co um, co um, co uh, correlation between the variables and um, the R square is 0 0.4661. Uh, that means uh, it's closer to 1. That means uh, this forecast model is the, the exchange rate applicable to Swiss franc uh, model. Uh, the p value of these economic variables are greater than 0 0.05, um, which means that all these uh, variables are. Uh, statistically uh, significant in the expanding uh, the exchange, exchange rate. Finally, we use the uh, forecast model to predict uh, exchange rate uh, for the following quarter. Um, the, ex uh, estimate, uh, the estimated exchange rate uh, is uh, 0 uh, 0.7749 and uh, the actual exchange rate is 0 0.72. Um, the only, they, are, they have only about a 7% uh, deviation. It's further uh, confirms the results of our study. Thank you.